हेलो स्टूडेंट्स बी ए पार्ट वन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज जोसफ एडिशन एज एन एसिस्ट ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम वी शुड स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक ओके जोसफ एडिशन वॉज ए ग्रेट इंग्लिश एसिस्ट पोइट एंड स्टेट्समैन हिज वर्क इज स्ट्रॉन्गली इंफ्लुएंस Joseph Edison was a great English essayist, poet, and statesman. His work strongly influenced 18th century English taste and opinion. His contribution to the periodical, the catalog, and the Spectator can never be forgotten. Okay, some points are about Joseph Edison as an essayist. So these are the points. Number one point is personal life, and second point is contemporary society, and third point is reformative attitude, and fourth point is narrative skill and humor. Okay, and fifth point is my conclusion. Okay, students. Most of the Joseph Edition's essay are the social document of 18th century English life of middle class people. He wrote elaborately on religion, politics, that women, and other contemporary issues. My work in this connection says it is necessary to study the work of Joseph Edition. in close relation to the time in which he lived for he was a true child of his century edition adopted the middle style it was associated with the graceful rhythm once s r johnson praised the style of edition give nights and days sir to the study of edition if you mean to be a good writer or what is more birth and honest man dr johnson again said said his edition prose is the model of the middle style on great subject not formal on right occasion not groveling and pure without scrupulously and extra without apartment alterations always equal and always tempered he performed he is never feebler and he did not wish to be energetic he is never rapid and he never stays mad his sentence had neither uh, not diligently rounded or volubile and easy editions used the language of the club and the coffee house he to wish to refine the english language and write to will right with well bred is but at the same time he saw a danger in common speech since it often happens that the most obvious phrases and those which are used in ordinary conversation become too familiar to the ear and contract a kind of manner uh, meanness by passing through the mouth of bulger a poet should take particular care of guard himself against idiomatic way of speaking the great master in composition know how very well that improper for a poet or an orator when it has been the best by common used the spectators number 285 okay mr edition wanted to avoid vulgarity as a consequence according to the sentiment he created sir roger he felt ease at the home of sir roger i am the more at ease in sir roger's family because it consists of sober and staid persons for as the knight is the best master in the world he seldom changes his servant and he is beloved by all about him his servant 
His servants never care for leaving him. Why this means his domestic are all in years and grown old with their master Sarozal at home. Mr. Edison was religious minded. Naturally, his essay was reflected with that ideology. I am always very well pleased with a country Sunday and think it keeping holy the seventh day were only a human institution. It would be the best method that could have been thought of for the polishing and civilizing of mankind. Sir Rosal at church in the essay he uphold the observance of Sunday on account of its social in influences rather than for its religious meaning Sunday clears away the rust of the whole week. Next point is the drama and allegory is an excellent essay of Edison's style. Thought this as though this essay Edison tried to organize his humor. His name was Fancy. She lead up every mortal to the appointed place. After having very officiously assisted him in making up his pack and laying it upon his shoulders, my heart melted with me to see my fellow creature groaning under their respective burdens and to consider that prodigious book of human calamities which lay before me again in his mischief of party spirit he says party spirit is harmful to man's morals and understanding a partial administrations of justice in a world it fills a nation with spleen Rancor and exercise the exit of all seeds of good nature, compensations, and humanity. Addition's style is marked for fantastic blending of human and satire. There is no mannerism in his prose style. He wrote without any effort. He also used irony and wit to mark his essay didactic. His essay were not art for the sake of art, critical investigation, observe a mind approach of puritanical propaganda in his essay, Edition's aim and endeavor was to enliven in morality with wit and temper wit with morality. Edition regarded as one of the greatest prose stylists in English literary history and the founder of modern English essay and modern English prose was the pioneer of a style that was very simple, lucid, natural, moderate, free from extravagant expression and called a middle style. It is a style of straightness without any obscurities, complexities or superfluous. He perfected English prose as an instrument for the expression of social thoughts. Moreover, addition as an essayist is often seen as a moralist, a preacher, a philosopher, and a critic, and also a humorist. In this writing, we will discuss with reference from Edition's perspective the phase. Dr. Johnson for the first time mentions Edition's style to be middle style. He says, well, his prose is the model of the Middle style, familiar but not coarse, elegant but not ostentatious or 
on gray subject not formal on light occasions not problem but thou without scrupulously and exactly without a format uh, alliterations and uh, always equal and always easy without flowing words or painted words or pointed sentence actually he is clear fluent and understandable in what he wants to say is clear and lucidity of expression is the most striking feature of editions style there is no complexity or obscurity or difficult in the expression even a very long sentence can express clear ideas at the very first sight or reading for example sometime he will be planning out a verse in the singing pausum half a minutes after the rest of the congregations have done reading sometimes when he is pleased with the matter of his devotion he pronounces i mean three or more times to the same prayer and sometimes stand up when everybody as is upon their knees to count the congregations or see if any of his tenants are missing the rosary at church thank you for watching my youtube channel thank you so much thank you